It seems Apple is finally ready to play the megapixel game after serving 12 megapixel camera arrays on its smartphones for a healthy few generations. Apple finally upgraded the Pro iPhone 14 to a 48 megapixel sensor and a year later, the entire iPhone 15 series got the same treatment. According to industry analyst Ming-Chi Kuo, that momentum will continue with the iPhone 16 series. In an investor note, Ku claims that the Pro iPhone 16 will get a new 48-megapixel ultra-wide-angle sensor, a big jump from the 12-megapixel snapper on the iPhone 15 and the iPhone 15 Pro. And in addition to a higher megapixel count, the sensor size will also be bigger, which is great news. The pixel size, however, has been shrunk from 1 micron on the 12-megapixel on the iPhone 15 Pro to 0.7 micron on the new 48 megapixel unit on the iPhone 16 Pro. This isn't necessarily a bad thing, because camera sensors of such high resolution rely on a technique called pixel binning. This tech essentially combines adjacent pixels to create an artificial super pixel, one that collects and processes more light data, thereby producing more detailed images. Depending on the sensor's resolution, it can take many forms. In the case of a 48-megapixel sensor, it follows a 4-in-1 format, where a 2x2 two two array of adjacent pixels is combined to create a larger superpixel. In doing so, the sensor size is effectively doubled to 1.4 microns in the iPhone 16 Pro's case. The resulting image turns out to be 12 megapixel in resolution, but contains less noise and better colors than what a native 12 megapixel sensor can deliver. Another advantage of pixel binning is that it delivers noticeably better results in low light situations. The biggest advantage of upgrading to a 48 megapixel ultra wide camera, aside from the boost in raw quality, is that there will now be little disparity in the quality of images achieved from the main and ultra wide cameras. It's a meaningful upgrade and a big one for iPhone loyalists, especially considering the conservative approach Apple takes toward hardware innovation. Moving on, Ku also claims that Apple will shift to a 24 megapixel front camera starting with the iPhone 17 series. This would be another major shift for Apple after years of sticking to a 12 megapixel true depth camera system on iPhones. Anyway, there's still a lot of time for the iPhone 16 series to arrive, let alone the iPhone 17. A lot could change by that time, so it would be better to treat this with a little bit of skepticism. With that being said, do consider subscribing to our channel for all the latest iPhone news, and I'll catch you guys on our next video.